Uh, Donald Trump is going out on the campaign trail, and uh, that means, and somebody pointed this out, like we hear a lot of like stuff about from, you know, uh, reports of him. Um, he said this thing or he said that thing, and it's usually about like he's being, he's talking about the Mueller report of this and that, but nobody really reports anymore on the, the just the um, cascade of lies that he tells that are eaten up conspiracy theories uh, that are just eaten up by his supporters. I mean, I really do think that, I mean, Donald Trump could walk out of the white house tomorrow and uh, you know, get on a, uh, get on a rocket and fly into the sun and we will still have um, massive problems that uh, are indicative of the people who follow Donald Trump right now. And none of that's going to happen. He's going to stay in office. If he uh, loses the election in 2020, he's either going to go to prison or not. Assuming he, uh, you know, is, is still alive, he's still going to be a malignant force in our politics. And that's the best case scenario. Yeah. Right? That's the best case scenario. So here he is telling a, um, I don't know how many people are in here, 12,000, 10,000, who knows? Auditorium, I don't know how many people are in it, in Wisconsin, in Green Bay. When the president says something, people believe it. I mean, there's people out there who believe it. And they're going to believe and we've heard it repeated by other Republican uh, elected officials that Democrats are for killing born people after the fact if they don't want their babies. Born alive. The baby is born. The mother meets with the doctor. They take care of the baby. They wrap the baby beautifully. And then the doctor and the mother determine whether or not they will execute the baby. I don't think so. Incredible. No, it's incredible. Until this crazy man in Virginia said it, nobody even thought of that, right? Did anyone even think of that? You hear late term. But this is where the baby is actually born. It came out. It's there. It's wrapped. And that's it. Who believes it? There are children who are born with uh, either in great pain or with the ability, uh, inability or, you know, with uh, some uh, grievous bodily malfunction that is going to either uh, make their few days on this planet uh, extremely painful uh, or full of suffering, uh, but who cannot survive. Um, that I believe at that point, maybe in some of their, their, uh, the, there's a decision to like not to feed or to, um, heavily medicate. I'm not sure. It's not terribly dissimilar than what we get with people who are in a vegetative state. Uh, Terry Schiavo. Uh, the idea that there are summary executions taking place, um, I mean, it's obviously absurd, but all those people in that room believe it.